The Defense Media Activity and Defense Information School Joint Color Guard posts the colors at Sunday ceremony remembering German and Italian prisoners of war buried at the Fort Meade Cemetery. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week we'll take a look at the gate hours for the holidays as well as the chapel services schedule. The blended retirement system opt-in is around the corner. These stories and more, but first, news from Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. Starting Tuesday, January 2nd, the pharmacy at the Post Exchange will only process refills. All new and renewal prescriptions will be processed at the Kimbrough Pharmacy. The exchange pharmacy hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Kimbrough Pharmacy is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. In other news, 33 German and two Italian prisoners of war from World War II are interred in the Fort Meade Cemetery. The POWs were housed at the Fort Meade detention camp during the war and died in captivity. Each year, representatives from the German and Italian armed forces honor their fallen countrymen in a wreath-laying ceremony. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard opened this year's ceremony focusing on the bonds all soldiers share. Those of us who serve in uniform share a special bond that extends beyond national borders. We each have tremendous respect for the effects of war and respect for those who must fight. Representing Germany, Commander Frederick Strzok, the Assistant Naval Attaché in Washington, he echoed Colonel Rickard's remarks. But these graves here at Fort Meade Cemetery also stand for the countless soldiers of all nations who served their countries in good faith and who ultimately died far from their families, their loved ones and their homes. In his closing statement, Italian military attaché Colonel Filippo Gabriel not only thanked his countrymen for their sacrifice, but Americans as well. It is my heartfelt desire to pay tribute and express my profound gratitude to the thousands of American soldiers who offered their lives to give the next generation of Europeans and the people of many other places in the world a future of freedom, democracy and prosperity. We will never forget their sacrifice and that we have the moral obligation to pass their memory to the future generations of European citizens. The prisoner of war graves are attended to each year by the German Women's Club. Meanwhile, the holidays are upon us and there are some changes to gate hours to report. These changes are in effect December 22nd through December 25th and from December 29th through January 1st. During these times, Rockenbach Gate, the Mapeson 175 Gate and the Llewellyn Gate are all closed. The Visitors Control Center will also be closed. The Reese Road Gate is open 24 hours and the Mapeson 32 Gate is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Meanwhile, if you've been watching the show in recent weeks and months, we spent a lot of time on the new blended retirement system. That system goes into effect the 1st of January and represents a big change and some important choices for service members. Army Community Services Financial Readiness Program is offering weekly briefings in December. And if you missed this week's, there are two more scheduled for the month on the 11th and the 18th. You need to register, go to www.fortmeadeacs.checkappointments.com. For more information, contact ACS at 301-677-5590. Meanwhile, here's the latest video from the Department of Defense. Hey, gentlemen, 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 step right up. I have a vehicle for you. This is a one-of-a-kind Humvee. Won't see another one in the lot just like this one. As soon as I get the lock cutter, I mean the keys, we can get this car for you. Ow, ow, ow. It's such a hot deal, I can't even touch the ride. This car's got to go, go, go. Got to go now, now, now. It's got to move, got to move. Got a decision, 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 decision. This one comes with two balloons. One red, one blue. You red, you blue. We only got five more minutes, five more minutes. What's it gonna take to get you in this ride right here? A final reminder from MWR, don't forget Breakfast with Santa is coming up Saturday, December 16th. It's from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Club Mead. Along with the full breakfast buffet, kids can enjoy cookie decorating, a letter writing workshop, story time with Mrs. Klaus, and of course, photos with Santa. Here's an important bit, you can't buy tickets at the door. You have to go to the School Age Center 2 at 909 Ernie Pyle Street. For more information, go to www.me.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.